Across Coventry and Warwickshire, hundreds of disabled people work successfully in mainstream jobs. Increasingly, employers, big and small, are delighted and reaping the long-term benefits of tapping into an effective, efficient and loyal workforce. In this short film, you will see some examples of this in action. Real people in real jobs and employers making a real difference. TESS, which stands for the Employment Support Service, is part of Coventry City Council's employment team. West, which is Warwickshire's employment support team, is part of Warwickshire County Council. Both services have a wealth of experience and more than 20 years expertise in supporting local businesses with the recruitment, training and retention of a diverse and valuable workforce. Most disabled people want to work and there is increasing evidence to show that given the right support, disabled people make excellent employees. Disabled people work well in all sectors of the local economy, supported by good employers and, in the background, the flexible, unlimited support of teams such as TESS and WEST. You can be part of this, getting a key job done effectively by a valued, dedicated worker. Disabled people represent an untapped workforce and it makes good business sense to include them in your recruitment processes. Disabled people and their families make up a large percentage of the population. Over a quarter of your customers either have a disability or know somebody that does. So it makes good commercial sense that your workforce is representative of your customer base. Employers recognise that having a diverse workforce which reflects the communities that they serve is good for public relations and makes good business sense. Tess and West see that the cornerstone is developing a good long-term relationship with each employer. Having made initial contact, one of our experienced advisors takes time to get to know the company, its ethos, its needs and its priorities. Understanding your business is critical to getting it right. Uh, Hannah from Tess uh, contacted me. Um, wanted to come and see me to explain what tests are all about and what services they offered. You know, when you speak to Dave, uh, he, he's so enthusiastic about the business and about, you know, the ethos behind the company. We said we'd keep in touch and... Uh, she came back, um, we gave her a guided tour of the warehouse operation, explained the duties that we wanted the apprentice to do. So, I, I spoke to Dave about it, you know, that I had somebody in mind. At that point, she talked to us about Kieran, who um, has autism. The fact that I feel he, he matches the, the company ethics, that he's the most committed person, um, that he, you know, he's reliable, he's always on time, um, and, and that actually the repetitive kind of work that they, they were offering would really suit him. With what, what Hannah had suggested and what we knew Kieran was capable of, we thought we could create a role of janitor we set up a work trial so that he could show that he could do the job and um, six months later um, he's been, he was on a temporary contract to begin with, he's now permanent and he's now doing 40 hours a week and you know the last feedback I had from Dave was just they just cannot imagine not having him in the company. And that's where we got to with Hannah and Kieran and Ted. Success comes when there is an understanding of the type of person who will work well in a business. Trying to match people's personalities to the workplace, as well as the skills that they can bring and are needed to do a particular job. Moving on to matching a personality to a possible opening only starts when a good relationship has been established. Then the supported employment teams have a range of options to bring into play. Our approach to working with employers is first of all to make contacts and, and arrange to go in and see, see an employer and find out a little bit more about their business. 
and we follow this up by doing a, a questionnaire with them, an evaluation of the type of business they've got, what are the priorities that they have, do they have high turnover in certain areas, are there any areas that they find quite challenging in terms of recruitment and, and retention and we, we use that as a basis to get to know the, the, the company and that's one of our employment advisors would come in and do that. One of the approaches we, we use and work with employers on is something called job carving which is basically taking elements of a role um, and putting those together to develop a, a, a role in itself that somebody would be able to do. When we have identified a possible area of work, we send someone in to look at it in more detail and use that as the basis for training the new person. Sometimes the new worker needs help in getting to know the job and all the parts of it. This is where a job coach can come in and provide on-the-job support and training until the employee can do the job on their own. We can support you to consider any reasonable adjustment that may be required. Most adjustments cost nothing and usually benefit other employees as well. In some cases, we can help you to access funding for support. The range of businesses using supported employment locally is vast. Big and small, manufacturing and service, retail, catering and leisure. I would say definitely give it a go, no, absolutely. Uh, it does the other people in the office good as well, especially the, the younger apprentices maybe that haven't had a lot of contact with people with disability. It, it can break down barriers. Embrace it as an opportunity to develop your people because it, in, you know, we have to provide more opportunities for people that I find it really difficult to come into possibly big businesses like this. How do they get away in? How do they get a foothold in there? Um, and actually it's often on a local level that, that happens. It's local association and getting to know people. For other employers I would definitely say that they should definitely get in contact with Tess and if Tess get in contact with them then they should uh, take it up and see, see the match. I mean if, if, if it doesn't work out then they can say no, it's not working out for them. My advice would be to any employer is to embrace uh, the perception of a, a, a diverse workforce. Um, we always felt that um, we were missing a trick. Yeah. Uh, we now feel that we've fully embraced that um, and that it's an unta untapped resource. Yeah. Um, you know, people with disabilities have got a lot to offer. Given the support that, that they gave us and given the other things that have, that have followed from that, that it, it's well worth a punt, at, at, at the very least. Uh, because the, the, the support that West offered were, was open-ended. It's surprising how quick you can pick things up. Jason has been an asset, asset to the zoo. Boots being part of an international company, um, di having a diverse workforce is something that is natural to us. And um, having people like Suki work, work for us here at Boots helps us on our ambition to make people and customers feel good. Certainly, definitely consider it. It's a, it's a great scheme and it really helps both us, but it's also helping Paul as well in his life. He's enjoying it, he's able to get on with his life as a result. Well, 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 for me, in regards to work, it's, it's changed my life considerably. I mean, I've, um, I was going to say that this is actually my first ever paid job. I've never been in paid employment before and I've loved doing it. My goodness, a uh, hell of a lot and it's something that makes uh, myself and my colleagues uh, really proud um, just to see someone grow uh, and be comfortable in a work environment. Yeah, it's worked out absolutely brilliant. Um, Augustus is really, really strong. Um, he, he, first of all, he's quite confident and now his confidence has come out, he's more loud now than he was before. While he's matured greatly, he's, um, his confidence is a lot better. When he first came he was a bit shy, couldn't really speak to customers, but now he, uh, he does very well. That's good, good feedback from customers. So. The changes from Peter when he first came to now, I mean, you see him, he's now very independent, he's confident, he's enjoying his work, he looks forward to his it, payday. It, it's, it, it's blossomed, actually, is the word I'd say. You know, <laughs> in the garden centre. He seems to enjoy being here, meeting people, and I think that's part of the uh, attraction of employing uh, someone like Chris. That I feel that. Um, you know, it's a value to the company, but I can see it's a value to Chris as well. He's done really well now and he's progressed so much with his confidence. Uh, when I go home, I just say, I did a good job. 
success comes only when there is a good personality match between a business and its new employee. Staff from Tess in Coventry and West in Warwickshire are always ready to come and see you to discuss how we may be able to work together. As part of Coventry's and Warwickshire's local authorities, we are committed to supporting local business to develop and grow. We are also committed to supporting local people into local jobs and we hope that we can work with you to make this happen. Do things in this film ring a chord with you? Are you in a position to look into the possibilities a bit further? As the film shows, taking time to build a relationship and understanding is central to the approach. These are the details of how to take the next important step. This film was made by Tess and West in conjunction with Solid Edge Media.